fans on high. I'm sorry. It's warm. I'm going to open up my window in a minute. I just got home a little while ago. Um, I unpacked just enough. I got my pillows out, my blanket that Kenny made for me, and a few of my clothes that are clean I put away, and I have stuff to put away tomorrow. I just, I... I just want to lay down and curl up in my own bed, open up the window, get some fresh air, look at a magazine, chill out. That's right. I stopped and saw Lizzie for a couple hours on my way home. She lived about four and a half hours from my hotel in Ohio, so I stopped and saw her from like six to eight. No, from four to six. And then I left her house about a little after six and got home about... 8.30, so I've been home about an hour, um, long enough to take my medicine, get all my crap in, talk to dad for a few, um, all that good stuff, I'm just tired, um, I slept last night, but I didn't sleep well, but I did sleep. So I was just there by myself last night, and I didn't feel well either, so um, it was kind of a mediocre night. But the drive went smooth. I got home on a tank of gas. I didn't chance it on the way down there because I didn't quite know, and I got to Lizzie's, and I'm like, I think I can make it home on the gas I have left. And I got home, and the gas light wasn't on yet, so it, took me, it takes me one complete full tank of gas to get from my house to the hotel in Ohio, which isn't bad, six and a half hours, so, because on the way down there, I filled it up when I was like on half a tank, I did stop to get gas on my way home, but the gas station I stopped at was closed, which was the same problem Kenny had when he was going home, except his was like at five o'clock in the morning, and mine was at seven o'clock in the evening on a Sunday, the gas station was closed. It was a marathon. So, I'm like, I think I can make it home. And I did. Um, Dad called me one time when I was in Ohio from my cousin's phone that lives in Upper Michigan. And um, him and the dog, dogs and Carol went up and spent the night up there. And they had a good time away. And um, he stopped in Dublin. Any of you Michigan people know Dublin jerky, beef jerky? We have a whole bunch of it in our refrigerator now. We haven't had it in a long time. He got me some teriyaki jerky, which I love. I haven't had any yet, but tomorrow I will have some. I feel a little zombie-ish, to tell you the truth. Thank you, Cindy Mew Pie, for the coupons. I haven't looked through them all yet, but they're here. They are here. I did notice there's a temptation one with the kitty will love, and a whole bunch of them to pass on to the Smith family. So thank you. Um, another nifty thing I got. I ordered. I got an app on my phone for our business called Square which is um, where you can accept credit cards and they they don't do a monthly charge they just take a percentage of what you do it's like two point something percent but we really need it for our business and I just got my card reader today you you slide the the credit card you plug this in apparently and your phone you can slide the card reader on when you have the application open. And if you don't have a card, you can just put in the information on the application. We tested it out, and it works really good. So, because we're, we're going to try to get as many customers to use credit cards as possible. Um, just like we're going to try to get as many customers to give us email addresses as possible thing is we do a lot of small farmers a lot of little contracting you know one man shows 
that don't have any of that stuff, which is understandable. I know not everybody's going to have it. But in this day and age, it would be so much easier if they did. They just don't understand. Um, I guess that's all my babble for today. I'm just tired, man. Woo. All you do in a car is sit, but driving just makes you go bleh. So now my next road trip won't be for six weeks, and that'll be when I go to the beach, to the East Coast. Um, next week I have to pay off the beach house and get that taken care of. And um, got to go see the accountant for my business. Got to get stuff educated because it's going to start getting busy for my business here very soon. Very, very soon. So, yay. Um, I have no idea what's going on out there. I'm so far behind in videos. We, uh, Kenny and I were, I was reading comments to him from some of the videos I did. We did not do questions. I did not take any video footage on my flip. I took very few pictures, and when I did, I just snapped them on my iPhone. Um, we just enjoyed spending time together and hanging out, going for drives, you know, with out to eat, and watch movies. And, um, the time was just nice to have time. And I asked him nicely to do that video with me, which he very did. He's not very comfortable doing them. He's not a vlogger. He's not into it, so I thank him a lot. Thank you, baby, for doing the video with me, because um, that is kind of out of his comfort zone. Um, and a lot of you asked, some of you asked about the blanket he had made. I'm going to go back and answer some comments, but in the next few days, but he had it made at the Walmart photo department. He ordered it, it took two weeks, and he got it back. Um, he had the largest one made for me, and I love it. It's so soft. It's light enough. It's not too heavy. It's just, it's really nice. I like it a lot. A lot. So, it was a great surprise and a great present. So now time to open the window and lay down and just chill out. I hope you all have had a good few days while I've been away. I will talk to you soon.